Welcome back guys. For today's video tutorial, I'm gonna have a look over a sensor that is LSM330. To gain more knowledge about this sensor, let's have a look over the website and that's uh, controleverything.com and have a search for this sensor and you can see more about this. So let's see what we got. So we got that LSM330 is iNEMO inertial module. 3D accelerometer, 3D gyroscope, I to C mini module, and these are some of its features as you can notice on my screen. You can also purchase this sensor from this very site. Well, I will be interfacing the sensor LSM330 with an Arduino Nano, and for that, I require a code. So go to the source tab, and here comes the Arduino code sample. Now, you can have the privilege to download the code as a zip file from this very site. And you can also have the code from GitHub repository that is control everything community. Now you can download the code from two very different sources and choice is yours. Well, now we require some hardware and some drops so that we can make some connections for the working for this particular sensor. This here is our sensor LSM330. Now we are going to set it up against an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen. Now the question arises how do we connect this particular sensor and Arduino Nano. For that here comes the picture and it's an I2C shield. This is available on the website controleverything.com and now we have to place the Arduino Nano over the I2C shield and make this connection. Now the binding factor among the sensor and the I2C shield is this connecting cable make this connection for the sensor and the cable and while making this connection make sure that the ground wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly we have to follow this suite for the I2C sheet. Now we are done with this connection. The last connection is to need to power up our Arduino Nano and for that here comes a picture of a mini USB cable which you are able to see on my screen. Now gently put it over the power jack and then we are done with the connections part. Now what we require is an Arduino code so that we can have an explanation and the working of the code to interface this sensor. Let's have a look for that. Well we are done with the connections part for the sensor LSM330. So why not we have a look over the Arduino code so that we can interface this sensor. For that first step is to go to github.com and here we go and here type in the sensor for repository that is control everything community in that we have the sensor that is LSM330 and this is the Arduino code we are looking forward now let's have a look over the instructions for this Arduino code we have to download and install the Arduino software IDE on our local machine and the steps for the installation of Arduino are being provided on this way link for better view, let's have a look over this link and we can have our clarifications. Uh, now we have to download the Arduino software from this way link uh, in Windows, Mac or Linux operating system or any one you want to do. Now all the relevant information, all the commands are being provided on this way link. You can have a go through link and look carefully. Now get back to the code. As you can see, it's a uh, code with .ino extension file. The first thing you notice in the code that we have included wire.h library and the address of sensor is 12. It means one address is for the gyroscope and one is for accelerometer. So the address for gyroscope is 0x6a and for accelerometer it's 0x1d. Now in the void setup function we have initialized I2C communication as master and initialized serial communication with the baud rate equal to 9600. Well, now coming to the writing section where we have selected the control register 1 equal to 0x20 which is the address of the register and the command we have sent here is xyz axis enabled power on mode output data rate equal to 95 hertz and the command for that is 0x0f. Now in the writing section for the second part we have selected control register 1 having address 0x20 XYZ axis enabled power on mode output data rate equal to 100 Hertz. Now the command for that is 0x67 as you can see on my screen. Well there is a delay so that there will be a sleep function so that the writing section will be have enough time 
to process the commands. Well, uh, now in the void to function, we have for the reading section, we have selected the data register from 40, right? Uh, here we have read and requested six bytes of data for the gyroscope. As you can see, the reading values are being constantly monitored and the values are being transferred. And after that, we have the conversion of the data, which is according to the data sheet. After that, similarly, we have followed the suit for the acceleration data. We have requested and read six bytes of acceleration data. After that, the conversion part of acceleration data occurs for all three axes x, y, and z. Now we are done with the calculations part. The last part is on the print. So we have output data on the serial monitor, which is according to the right format, and the format is x, y, and z axis of rotation along with acceleration in x, y and z axis. The raw values are being printed on the serial monitor and you can have all the generalized value on the monitor. So it's a very simple code you can follow through up. Now what we require is to work out this code for the sensor. So let's have a look over that. Now what we require is to work out this code for the sensor LSM 33 So first of all copy this entire code. and open up the Arduino terminal as you can see on my screen. Now paste the code and save it and name it as LSM 330 for the reference and now we have to verify and compile the code. It's done. Now we have to upload the code. It might take a while to upload the code so we can wait and we are done uploading. now. The output can be monitored on the serial monitor so for that open up the serial monitor so that we can have our results. So as you can see we have the rotational and accelerational in x, y and z axis respectively. So if I rotate or move the sensor you can see there is a change in rotation x, y and z axis along with acceleration in x, y and z axis. If I do it continuously you can notice the change in all the three axes, rotational and acceleration. So this is how the Arduino code works for the, this sensor. Why not we have a look over the benefits, the features and the reason why we use this sensor for a lot of applications. So just now we have seen the working of this sensor LSM330. So let's have a look over the benefits, features and the applications for this particular sensor as you can see. Um, the LSM330 is a system in package featuring a 3D digital accelerometer with two embedded state machines that can be programmed to implement autonomous applications and a 3D digital gyroscope. The various sensing elements are manufactured using specialized micro machining processes with the IC interface are developed using CMOS technology. Now the LSM330 has a user selectable full acceleration range and an angular range of good 250, 500, 1000 dps plus minus. The accelerometer and gyroscope sensors can be either activated or separately put in power down sleep mode for applications optimized for power saving. And these include GPIS, navigation systems, impact recognition and logging, gaming and virtual reality input devices, intelligent power saving for handheld devices and a lot more. This sensor is available on this website and you can purchase it from here and the relevant code is available on this website. You go to resource tab and you can get it down there. Now you can also get the code from github repository that is control everything community. So at the very end let's summarize what we have done this video. We have the explanation, the code, the hardware connections and a lot more stuff. So I just want to make it clear that in case if you are in a kind of thought that you are left without fully understanding any part in this video till now, you can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments, your queries also on the community page. Now if you want to check some articles, blogs relevant to this video, you can have a look over instructables.com and if you want to subscribe video tutorials like these, you can go to our YouTube channel. I hope you found this video useful and I have a lot more projects coming on my way on the YouTube channel also. So till then you enjoy yourself and thanks for watching.